Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So yesterday we were talking about how Bandai was planning to make some adjustments and changes to some existing links to make them better and more relevant for the current meta, right? Well today we have the official list of all the links that are being changed as well as their new effects. Big shout out to Reddit user Dalex of Scaro for posting the translations. And without further ado, Let's check it out. Alright, so we're starting here with the Disciple link, which I believe on Global is called The Students. And this is now a 20% attack link as opposed to 1000 flat defense before. So a huge upgrade right there. For Crane School, it's attack plus 15%. I believe this is up from 500 attack before. So it's another big boost. Basically, a lot of these are just them taking these like really low flat stat boosts. And making them percentage boost which obviously is much better right so for golden warrior it's all enemies defense minus five percent key plus one more than meets the eye is now attack plus ten percent messenger from the future is attack plus five percent and world tournament reborn is attack plus fifteen percent all three of these used to be between 300 to 500 attack that's it okay so the new link now this is one of the biggest changes new used to be Attack plus 200. Alright, attack plus 200. It was one of the worst links in the entire game. I mean, only like 9 units in the game, I believe, have this link anyways. And it was like a couple of SR Nappas and I think Cybermen were the rest of the units. So nobody was really, you know, running the units that had the link. But regardless, it needed an upgrade because it was 200 attack before. Now it's up to 20% attack, making it one of the best or better attack links in the game, so that's pretty awesome. And then Saiyan Warrior Race is up to 5% attack, Respect is up to 15% attack, Android, I think it's Android Assault, is up to defense plus 10%, up from defense plus 1000. And then Turtle Hermit School is defense plus 10%, Solid Support is attack plus 10%, all enemies defense minus 10%. So for this one, it wasn't really... A percentage buff because I believe before it was attack was 10% and attacked enemies defense minus 15% now it's all enemies defense minus 10% so they actually decreased the percentage debuff but they made it all enemies so if you're doing a stage where there's you know multiple enemies then it's actually a better link I mean I don't really mind it it's fine and then Frieza's minion is attack plus 20% Dodon Ray is attack plus 10% Kamehameha, this is a really big one, alright, because this is a link that a lot of some of the best units in the game have, right, like a ton of LRs, like super busted units that were already doing crazy amounts of damage are now going to hit even harder because of this buff to Kamehameha, up from 2500 attack when super attack is launched, now it's 5% attack when super attack is launched, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about in a second, when we take a look at the units that have this link, but uh, it, it's, it's pretty crazy. All right, this is one of the biggest changes for sure. Then we have Frieza's army, defense plus 20%, tough as nails, defense plus 15%, speedy retribution, attack plus 10%, tag team of terror, attack plus 15%, RR army, attack plus 10%, resurrection F, attack plus 10%, new Frieza army, is attack and defense plus 20%, power bestowed by God. This is also a big one because uh, Vegito's and Ultimate Gohan's as well as Zamasu's and maybe some others. But either way, those are the three big ones have this link, right? So it's attack plus 5% when a super attack is launched. And just think about Vegito Blue, right? Vegito Blue with the power bestowed by God and also Kamehameha. Right, so he's getting a buff from both of these links right here. And also, limit breaking form for the Super Saiyan 3's attack plus 5% when a super attack is launched. That's also going to make a big difference. Legendary power. I freaking called this one, man. In yesterday's video, I said legendary power is a link that every LR in the game has, right? It's like the LR link. It should be much better than what it is. It was before 5,000 attack. When Super Attack is launched, now it's up to 10%. And I said in the video yesterday, 10% attack. It should be 10% attack. So I'm going to take some credit for this one. Okay. So Legendary Power, 10%. And then Supreme Power, active, active, active 
activate penetration, and then attack and defense plus 5%, and then telekinesis, all enemies defense minus 10%, alright, so... Uh, the ones that you really should be paying attention to, obviously, like, you know, some of these are really good for, uh, multiple units, right? We got, like, solid support, which is shared by a bunch of units, like, a bunch of top tier units. We got, um, you know, what else, what else? Um, Resurrection F, some really good units have it as well. Um, Supreme Power, of course, but the main ones that you really gotta pay attention to is Kamehameha. Uh, I would say Limit Breaking Form and Power Bestowed by God, and also Legendary Power, especially Legendary Power and Kamehameha. These two are huge, man. These are some crazy changes to some of the best units in the game. For example, alright, so this is just a list of units that have the Kamehameha link, but of course the LRs also all have Limit Breaking Form, sorry, um, Legendary Power. They also all have Legendary Power, so... We got LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, we got AGL Gohan, we got Vegito Blue, we got Blue Gogeta, we got Super Saiyan Blue Kalkin Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, the 3 year Gogeta, 3 year Vegito, LR UI Goku, Int Rose, Int Cell, um, LR Go Bros, um, I mean, the list goes on, right? And then all these TURs, of course, at least all have Kamehameha as a link, right? So they all got buffed as well. And we got some of the best TURs in the game here as well, so just take a quick look, you guys can see them, I don't have to list them out, but um, the, the, buff to, the buff to Kamehameha is a big one, alright? But also, uh, for units like LR Blue Bedito, for example, who has, you know, Kamehameha, he has Power Bestowed by God, and he also as legendary power. All three of these links got buffed. So this dude who was already like, I think he's still the hardest hitting unit in the game, right? I think he is. So he just got buffs to three of his attack links, man. Kamehameha went up to 5% attack when super attack is launched. Power bestowed by God went up to 5% attack when super attack is launched. And then legendary power went up to 10% attack when super attack is launched. So yeah, this guy's a big winner. Um, he was already a big winner even before the update, and now he's going to be an even bigger winner, I guess. I mean, <laughs> this is crazy. So, there you go, guys. Those are all the links that have been updated. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys were hoping that some other ones would get buffed as well, and if so, which ones are you looking forward to? I think in the future, they will do multiple updates to, you know, update some other links as well, because these are not the only ones that need the buffs. Alright, I think there are still, still some other ones that... Could definitely benefit from an update so i'm expecting more in the future but this is what we're starting with and um it looks pretty good man it looks pretty good i mean i was really hoping for kamehameha and legendary power to get that buff and they did yo you know what i what i was hoping would actually be like uh be on this on this list as well that's not there flea all right how is flea not updated when it gives you one key when your when your HP is 30% or less, it is literally the worst link in the game. All right, it is literally the worst link in the entire game, and they didn't update it. I'm disappointed by that. That's definitely the one that I was hoping would get the update, but uh, unfortunately, I, I guess they're saving that for something else in the future. Anyways, um, yo, you know what, what? What else I was thinking about actually as I was going through this? We have the link skill level system coming up, right? And I'm assuming that these buffs are all these links at level 1. So could you imagine if like these link skill levels give like an additional even like 0.5% per level gain? Then that would mean at level 10, and let's say if level 10 is the max, which I, which I assume is the max, then you know something like uh, Legendary Power would give 15% attack, right? Something like Kamehameha would give uh, 10% attack, right, when, when Super Attack is launched, um, power, power Bestowed by God, 10% attack as well at max level. This is also, this is just assumptions, by the way, I'm, I'm just be clear, right, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen, but I'm just assuming that these links will get better and stronger when we get the link skill level system and are able to level up the links. So, as crazy as this might seem right now, it could be even crazier. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. We need, we need more information about how the actual system works before we actually, you know, get too excited, but I'm, I'm getting pretty excited 
I'm not gonna lie. And oh, one other thing I saw after I made the video yesterday was that Team Dokener said that he believes, he or she, I'm not really sure, but they believe that the uh, way to upgrade your link skills is not gonna be through, you know, summoning for materials or farming something, but rather, most likely, through just playing the game, from just using the units, and they'll get EXP for their links, and the links will just naturally level up, like in, like an RPG or something like that, right? That'd be awesome. That'd be the best case scenario. So I love that, but I don't really know, right? Like, that seems a little bit too good to be true, maybe. Although Dokener typically is never wrong, so I feel like that's pretty likely. But once again, we'll see. All right, we still need more, need more information, need the update to actually drop on JP. To be sure but uh yeah guys that's all i gotta say in today's video man that is the full list of all the links being updated once again let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this and uh are there any links that you feel like were left off of the lit uh, left off of this list that should have been included okay so that's all i gotta say thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out